Hi everyone, today we are diving into the world of 3D printing. How it works, what are the uses of it and the unbelievable things it can create. In today's video, we'll be discussing about the uses of a 3D printer and trust me, it will shock you. Come on, let's explore. Dude, did you watch Avatar Fire and Ash? Yes, I did. It's a must watch in 3D. Oh, really? 3D. 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 Speaking of 3D, Tapok Stadium, the entire 400 meter wall was built using 3D printers. And in Jaisalmer, the Air Force Base used 3D printers to build their sanitizer stations. And in Ukraine, they built an entire school using 3D printers. Do you know why I'm telling you all this? Because today, we are going to build an entire house using this 3D printer. Bro, stop joking. We can't build a house here. That's impossible. Come on, it would be cool to try. Bro, we don't have such a big 3D printer. But instead, we can build an Iron Man toy. Iron Man? But how will you design an Iron Man? No need to design bro, we can just directly download it from Tinkercad and print it. Perfect. You download the design and start printing, I'll talk to the audience and come back, okay? Yes. First, after downloading the design from Tinkercad, we load that design into a special software. This software reads the 3D model and cuts it into hundreds of thin layers, like how a bread slicer cuts bread into slices. So we call this tool a slicer. A slicer basically converts the 3D model into G-code. You might wonder what is a G-code? It's simply the set of instructions that tells the 3D printer how to move in X, Y and Z directions and how to print each layer. The printer's build material is a type of plastic filament. The filament is connected to the printer's head where the extruder melts the filament with 220 degrees Celsius and with the help of stepper motors, the printer moves in the X, Y and Z directions to print the design. Once we finalize the design and start printing, the 3D printer starts from the bottom most layer and starts to build layer by layer. Normally, 3D printers use plastic material to print, but the 3D printers that are used to build houses use a special limestone clay mixture. All right, let's see what Jeevitesh is doing there. What? You've separated and printed everything as head, hands and legs? See, if we print all the parts together, our toy won't be movable. So, in our design, we have printed each part separately. Nice! What are the other advantages? If any part breaks, we can print that part again and assemble it back. Oh, great! See, we have taken the design from Tinkercad. If I click print, will the printer start? No, no. Before that, we need to use a slicer. We have to make some small adjustment here. Come, I'll show you. Okay. Look. Look here, these are strength and layers. We can adjust all these settings the way we want and then give print. Uh, that's it? Yes, that's it. But printing takes around 4 hours. 4 hours? Four hours. In the meantime, what am I supposed to do? Meantime, go take care of your other works, bro. Yeah, okay. As Ajivitesh said, by using the slicing software, we can control the printing strength, quality and support. At first, we have the quality. Here we set the layer's thickness. The thinner the layer, the better the print quality. For example, printing at 0.2 mm gives excellent precision. Next, we have infill and pattern. These settings decide the strength of the print. In the top layer, if we set the infill pattern as monotonic, it looks like this, clean and neat. And also, we can choose the pattern as per our requirement. Then comes sparse infill density. This decides how much the object is filled inside. For example, we can set it at 15% more or less depending on how strong we want the model. Now about support. Some designs tilt or fall because they don't have enough support. For that, we use tree supports because they use less material, give good support and can be easily removed. Now you may ask, why do we need 3D printers? In our Chitty Future School, we teach students future skills. To develop STEM abilities, 3D printing is extremely useful. We teach students about parts of drones. This gimbal setup is fully made using 3D printing. This spider bot, its movable parts were designed and tested with a 3D printer. We are also researching on how to make 3D printers affordable. As a first step, we are testing it with students who have already completed level 2. Anyways, let's get back to our boy. It's already been for us. Hey dude, have you finished the printing work? Yes, all the parts are ready. Once we assemble, the Iron Man is ready. Yes, come, let me help you. Wow, 
wow dude you actually completed the iron man so what's your next plan it's my play time i got to show this to my friends if you wish to enroll your kid in our city future school program click the link below in the description and book your free demo right away a special trainer from our team will conduct an one on one demo session with your child if you like the program you can choose to continue this is an online after school program where we train children in seven different skill areas throughout the year and your children will be building 200 plus stem projects during the program so don't miss this opportunity book your free demo now